Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the new Windows 11 minimum requirements that Microsoft is starting to implement in this period when we are so close to the Windows 11 23H2 release. And I think because of the Windows 11 23H2 version having a lot of new features, a lot of new implementations, Microsoft is trying to be more strict in um, which PCs or computers are officially allowed to install the operating system. Right now, the latest build for Windows 11 23H2 is uh, 25,926. Six, as you can see, Windows 11 uh, 23 H2. And in this video, we're going to talk about the new Windows 11 minimum requirements that Microsoft is starting to implement. And if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with this video. Just a quick disclaimer, some of the info that I'm stating in this video was provided by winarrow.com. So you can check them out if you want to see the latest news in regards to Microsoft Windows and so on. First of all, here we have a list of processors that Microsoft currently removed from the official support. So we have here on the list mostly Intel Xeon, which were mainly used for server purposes, but Microsoft is removing these processors from the official support. And also these processors were added in the official support. So we now have AMD Ryzen 3, 380U, AMD Ryzen 3 Pro, 4655G, and G. I think these are some great news. And what you'll basically notice is that Microsoft is mainly focusing on the processors that are supported. And uh, in regards to that, a lot of users recently noticed that some of the workarounds that we could use to bypass the minimum processor requirements for Windows 11 are no longer working. So I think that Microsoft is becoming more strict in terms of minimum requirements. And I'm not sure how this will go with users. I think a lot of users will be pretty much upset that Microsoft is more strict with this. But I think if you view it in another way, it's important that Windows 11 users have a great experience and a good experience. And we've had a lot of users complaining about certain stuff that don't work. I think a lot of the problems that a user faces on Windows 11, because it is the latest operating system for Microsoft, are related to certain system components that are maybe not 100% supported or on the edge of being supported. And Microsoft being more strict with that, I think it's better in a way as they are trying to minimize the bugs and issues that users encounter in regards to not meeting the minimum requirements. Now, of course, there are still ways to bypass the processor, the TPM and the uh, secure boot things using third-party apps like Rufus, so I think that's not a problem. But it is clear that with the newer versions of Windows 11, it will be harder to bypass those minimum requirements on an older computer. I'm looking forward to hearing your opinion in the comments below on how you think this will affect the Windows 11 users altogether. And uh, feel free to let me know in the comments below what system are you using Windows 11 on. I'm pretty interested in that to see if some of you maybe are using older generation processors and stuff like that. Maybe some of you have newer computers. So if you want, you can feel free to leave those in the comments below. This was pretty much the video for uh, today. As a short recap, basically Microsoft removed some of the Intel Xeon processors that were used mainly for service from the minimum system requirements. They also added some new AMD processors in the supported processors list. And also they are beginning to be more strict with the bypass regarding the minimum requirements for processors inside Windows 11. Basically right now with the release of Windows 11 23H2, these minimum requirements will be present with the latest version of Windows 11. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.